Welcome to Two Minute Fluid Mechanics, helping you learn some fluid mechanics in about two minutes. Dimensional analysis and Einstein's theory of special relativity. Albert received some help from a fluid mechanics professor. Hello, Albert. How are you doing? Hello. I am well, but I am stuck on this problem. I think that the energy is a function of the mass and the speed of light, but I cannot come up with the, the equation. Dimensional analysis can help. Let me share my screen. First, we list the parameters. There are three of them. Then we list the primary dimensions of each parameter. In the MLT system, the dimensions of energy, mass, and speed of light are shown. Since there are three primary dimensions, ML and T, we set the reduction as j equal 3. So we expect k, number of pi's, is n minus j, or 3 minus 3, which is 0. That makes no sense. We cannot have 0 pi's. True. For cases like this, we reduce j by 1. When j equal 2, we get k equal 1. Thus, we expect one non-dimensional parameter, or pi. Since j is equal 2, we pick two repeating parameters. I chose the two independent ones, m and c. We generate the first pi by dimensional reasoning. We set pi 1 to the dependent variable e, times the two independent variables to some unknown exponents. The pi itself has to be non-dimensional, and these are the primary dimensions of e, m to its exponent, and c to its exponent. The algebra is trivial to solve for these exponents. t to the 0 equal t to the negative 2 times t to the negative 1 b1. We see that here. And it's easy to solve for the exponent b1. b1 is negative 2. We do the same for mass. 0 equal 1 plus a1. a1 has to equal negative 1. Finally for l, we find b1 is negative 2. Fortunately, these two agree or we'd be in trouble. Our first and only pi is thus pi 1 is e over mc squared. But since there's only one pi, it can't be a function of anything else, so it must be a constant. Solving for e is some constant times mc squared. Dimensional analysis cannot determine the constant, so our final result is e equal constant times mc squared. Well, I think I can prove that the constant must be 1. Well then, here's your final result. e equals mc squared. Well, that was relatively simple. Hmm, relatively. I shall call it the equation of special relativity. Thank you, Professor Skeptic. You're welcome. Goodbye. Have a nice day, Albert. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.